Mr. Robot is an American drama thriller television series created by Sam Ismail. It stars Rami Malik as Elliot Alderson, a cybersecurity engineer and hacker who suffers from social anxiety disorder and clinical depression. Alderson is recruited by an insurrectionary anarchist known as Mr. Robot, played by Christian Slater to join a group of hacktivists called a society. The group aims to destroy all that records by encrypting the financial data of the largest conglomerates in the world, E Corp. Mr. Robot has received critical acclaim and has been nominated for and won multiple awards, including the Golden Globe for Best Television Drama Series, and was recognized with a Peabody Award. In 2016, the series received six Emmy nominations including Outstanding Drama Series with Malik winning for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Here are 69 facts about Mr. Robot you should know. The pilot's title, Hello Friend, is a reference to the email virus form Burong.a from 2006. A feature of this form is that it would send emails to everyone in your address book. Often with this subject or first line, hello friend, the phrase continues to be used in spam, but the first virus to include the phrase made it popular in hacking circles. The address that Elliot searches on Google, 3027 W12 Street, Brooklyn is in fact the actual address of the building on Coney Island, used for external shots of F-Society headquarters. Throughout the first episode of Season 1, Elliot references IRC, standing for Internet Relay Chat. IRC is an application protocol that allows for plain text communication via a client-server model. A server hosts a channel where users can join to discuss various topics. However, robots are prevalent on servers. These allow users to communicate with the server itself and request file transfers. There is a major presence of illegal file transfers facilitated by the use of these robots. The final octet of the IP address that the protagonist is giving for Colby is not even a valid IP address. 373 is outside of the normal IPv4 range of 02255. In first episode of season 1, the security company has to prevent a DDoS attack. DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. It's a tactic used to prevent a company's servers from functioning by using all their bandwidth. Real or virtual computers all send and receive data at all servers on a network, stopping legitimate users from exercising real transactions. This effectively stops business from taking place, causing a loss in revenue and consumer trust. Rami Malik was hired because creator Sam Ismail's then girlfriend, Amir Zoom, had seen him in the Pacific and recommended him for the lead. If you go to ecorpusa.com, it would actually load up the eCorp website along with a server down message. But now the website is up again. The message to Evil Corp from F Society includes a background video of the prisoners of war parade that took place in Donetsk on the Independence Day of Ukraine during the war in Donbass. Steel Mountain, the storage facility which contains Evil Corp's tape backups, is a reference to Iron Mountain, a worldwide operating company which works in records management information destruction, and data backup and recovery services. Neither the name Tyrell nor the name Valek are Swedish names, indicating that Tyrell's father is from an English-speaking country. The languages Tyrell Valek and Joanna Valek speak between them are Swedish and Danish. The languages are 
together with Norvain, so similar to each other that if you have a good understanding of one, you automatically have a decent understanding of the other two. The picture of the dog shown being liked on Instagram is from the page of creator Sam Osmell's ex-girlfriend, Amy Resume. The dog is called Cinnamon. Towards the end of the third episode of the first season, Gideon uses his smartphone, displaying the time as 9.40 pm. This occurs during the 40th minute of air time, excluding commercials. Mr. Robot airs at 9 p.m. Central Time. The painting in first season 6 episodes opening scene is made by Dominican painter Gilberto Hernandez Ortega. Ortega was a surrealist painter and is considered to be one of the best of his generations. The song that plays at the beginning of the 7th episode of season 1 when Elliot flashbacks to when he first meets Sheila, his pictures of you by The Cure, which is from the album Disintegration. Later on in the episode, Elliot deletes Sheila's file on his computer and labels the CD it was burnt onto with the same album and band, The Cure Disintegration. The name of the song also partly reflects what he is deleting. Sam Ismail had originally intended Mr. Robot to be a feature film, with the end of the first act being someone finding out that he had a mental disorder while enacting a greater scheme. However, midway through writing the first act, he found that script had expanded considerably and that became a script more suited for a television show. He removed 20 pages of around 89 pages of the script then written and used it as the pilot for the series. And what was to have been the end of the first act became the finale of the first season. Elliot uses VMS to view his father's old pictures in Windows 7 based platform. He also uses this software when he hacks the jail's network in the car in an earlier episode. VMS is widely used even today by most of software engineers. In the opening flashback scene of season 1's ninth episode, Elliot's father is reading the newspaper and asks whether or not he can take Elliot to go see Pulp Fiction in theaters. Later on in the episode, while on the train platform, when Angela asks Elliot if he is okay, Elliot responds, I'm pretty f far from okay. This is the same line spoken by Wing Rames, character Marcellus Vallis in Pulp Fiction. Ismail took the script to anonymous content to see if it could be developed into a television series, which was then picked up by USA Network. USA Network gave a pilot order to Mr. Robot in July 2014 and picked it up to series with a 10-episode order in December 2014. In the whole first season, whenever they show us Elliot's phone, the battery is 22%. Knowing he was going to direct it entirely, Sam Ishmael managed to have the full second season written before shooting it. That way, scenes from different episodes were shot in a row, based on the location available. The character of Fernando Vera tells Elliot's character that their names mean the same, having the same origin. The actor playing Fernando Vera is named Elliot Villar. The main cast along with creator Sam S. Mill went to hacking seminars in preparation for their roles. In addition, Rami Malik had a typing instructor to prepare scenes involving programming. In episode 9, it's revealed that Mr. Robot's real name is Edward Alderson. It is written on his tombstone. Elliot watches a Vimeo of his fall at the boardwalk, 
That clip can be watched online on Vimeo website under the same user SK8R904. The episode entitled Zero Day was originally scheduled to air 26 August 2015, but delayed by the network concerns about backlash. Scenes in the finale have similarities to an actual tragic shooting occurring earlier that same day in Roanoke, Virginia. Thus, the delayed airing was itself due to a zero-day event. The hot player in the first season's last episode is playing Nearer My God to Thee, which was also famously played on the sinking Titanic and thereby providing a metaphor for the failing star of corporate power. It is also a clear reference to Gideon's earlier statement, where he said that working at all safe felt like rearranging chairs on the Titanic. In the first season, actor Rami Malik used crushed vitamin B pills for scenes where he sniffs morphine and used a special device hidden in his sleeve to vacuum the powder. He also allegedly uses it to prank people offset by lining up extraordinarily long lines of powder and sniffing them. In the sitcom-like opening credits, Christian Slater received second billing instead of the usual ad billing. The chess game played between Elliot and Ray follows the game between Roish and Willie Slage, played in Hamburg in 1910. This is not the first time this particular game was recreated on screen. It was previously featured in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey for the game between Frank Pohl and the Hall 9000 supercomputer. Mr. Sutherland can be seen playing watchdogs while Elliot is in hardware store. When the gunner is walking towards the diner in the final scene, the timer on the crosswalk counts down the time until he starts shooting. While in the room with the fish tank, a copy of Vladimir Nabokov's Lolita is shown laying on the table. This book is well known for being adopted into the movie directed by Stanley Kubrick, who is a large influence of Sam Ismail and of the show in general. The language spoken by the cab driver was Egyptian. Rami Malik's father is Egyptian and Sam Ismail's parents are Egyptian. All source music in 11th episode of season 2, such as from the radios in the van or the cab, are all from the original motion picture soundtrack of Back to the Future. In True Romance, Christian Slater goes to an amusement park and rides a roller coaster with a character named Elliot. In Mr. Robot, Christian Slater goes to an amusement park and rides a Ferris wheel with a character named Elliot. Despite the tech-savvy nature of the show, Rami Malik tends not to engage in social media such as Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, etc. As said in his interview with Colbert, he finds it to be too polarizing. Although Biri Wong aka White Rose is of Chinese descent, he does not speak any Mandarin or Cantonese. Knowing the truth about the character of Mr. Robot, the actors were instructed to never look or react to Christian Slater. In the scenes where Slater and Rami Malik are in the same room, because everything he says is either Elliot's imagination or Elliot is the one saying it. Although Christian Slater plays Rami Malik's father, in real life Christian Slater is only 11 years older than Rami Malik. This is appropriate as the Mr. Robot figure is Elliot's memory of his late father's appearance. The arcade booth name Dark Souls is a reference to a cyber attack that occurred in South Korea in 2013 caused by a malware 
named Dark Seal. It paralyzed banks, ATMs, and television stations. A 50 years old man, identified as Mr. Kim, was the principal suspect and seemingly connected to North Korea. When Elliot is talking to Joanna Valik, she says something to him in Danish with a sinister smile, to which he replies, Excuse me, I don't understand what you're saying. It's the only part through the whole season that isn't subtitled. The words are, which translates to, if you have done something to him, I will kill you. Elliot and Darlene use the Python and Ruby programming languages for creating their various hacks and exploits. The on-air suicide of the evil corp executive was very similar to the real life on-air suicide by politician Arbad Dwer. There are even similarities between the blood effects used compared to the real suicide. On 7-10-2016, during a live Q&A on Facebook, the screen cut to black and masked man appeared to introduce what would be the first half of the season 2 premiere. The video was only available for a few hours. The QR code in Alias Journal leads to an actual website. It is a seemingly under construction website from the 90s for one Confectora Industries. When Darlene is sitting at the computer typing in source code, one of the text brackets reads Hack the Gibson. The Gibson was the name of the supercomputer in hackers. FBI agent Dominic DePero exchanges IRC messages with Happy Harden Henry 806, a likely reference to Christian Slater Elias Happy Harry Harden in Pump Up the Volume. Darlene tells Elliot in it one. Init1 is one of the earliest phases of startup of the Unix operating system after a reset. So essentially, Darlene is saying, let's start over. When Elliot is in his room, thinking about Ray and his website, Mr. Robot argues with him, telling him Ray is not some coffee shop owner. This is a reference to the first episode of the show, where Elliot confesses to the coffee shop owner that he hacked him and found the owner's adult site, just like Ray's site. In particular, Ismail credited Fight Club as the inspiration for a main character who suffers from disassociative identity disorder, creating a new manifestation of his deceased father in the form of a hacker, as well as for the anti-consumerist and anti-establishment spirit of his characters. In an interview, Ismail explains how playing the song that Fincher used to underscore the climax of his film, when Elliot initiates the hack in episode 9, is intended as a message to the audience that he is aware of the inspiration they took from Fight Club. As the production crew was unable to shut down Times Square for filming, the scenes at Times Square in the finale were shot late at night just before the 4th of July holiday weekend to catch the area at its emptiest. On July 21, 2016, a virtual reality episode of Mr. Robot was created for fans and was found in the Within VR app. The episode is available on YouTube. E-Corp's logo bears striking resemblance to that of Enron, a Houston-based corporation that famously went bankrupt in 2001 after accounting fraud was uncovered. There were 164 actors brought in before Sam S. Mill and producers decided on Rami Malik. Creator Sam Smell made this show after being disappointed with the poor portrayal of computer hacking. In the first episode when Elliot encounters Mr. Robot for the first time inside the train, if you look a little more to the right, you can see the show's creator Sam Smell. 
Each episode name in season 1 ends in a video file name extension, like .flv and .mov. Season 2 episodes end in an encrypted file format, such as .tc and .aes. Alice Black Hoodie is from Rami Malik's own personal wardrobe. Because Rami Malik bought his own hoodie, the brand B. Scott made 20 identical hoodies for the show. Malik stated the other hoodies are not as comfortable as his own. The OS that Elliot uses 99% of the time, and rest of the cost for that matter, is Linux. And Elliot's PC at home is running Kali Linux, or some variant, with the GNOME desktop which is mentioned by Tyrell when they meet for the first time in the plot episode. Rami Malik often pranks on set with the cast and crew. He had decorated college icons trailer with gummy bears, which is her character's favorite candy. For the sitcom sequence in the second season, creator Samus Mill and his crew researched and consulted with other crew members who worked on 80s or 90s multi-camera sitcoms as well as learning how to film an episode in that format. For authenticity, beta tapes and cameras were used to film the sequence as well as playing laugh tracks on set. To properly represent Elliot's mental disorders, the production team consulted with a psychiatrist to read over episode scripts. Scenes shot outside of Elliot's apartment are filmed on location in Manhattan's Chinatown and show the facade of a real apartment building at 217E Broadway, New York, NY10002, as well as a real Chinese restaurant named Buhai Dumpling Town. Rami Malik and co-star Grace Kummer have worked together before in the movie Larry Crown. According to a phone interview with Jeremy Home on Afterbuzz TV, dummy scripts were used for preparation and real episode scripts were used for table read sessions to elicit reactions. 